many believe the SEC to be the best conference in the nation. Today we'll see why as two bitter rivals take the field. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Alabama lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's tackled at the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Let's it fly. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Huge play for both the quarterback and the receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front. And right at the time, the quarterback has a chance to throw. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Nice run there. Williams picks up about seven yards on the run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Zips it to the tight end. Good tackle there in space. Pretty good gain. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled in the open field. The back gets three on the carry. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 19. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. LSU could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Todd has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. in the open. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. 
Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. And off to the right. Brought down at the 46-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 46-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Slings it out there incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Thomas, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. LSU has a three-point lead. And they make the stop at about the 21. Game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 21. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. From their own 49-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 48. That's his loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. Sweep left. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. LSU is up a field goal. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle around the 45-yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He punts. No, he won't. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 31. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Check 13. Check 13. Too little. Play, play. Reach out. Here's the gate. Here's the gate. 
He tackles him for a loss. That was a loss of three yards. That brings us third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He heaves it to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. and ready for the kickoff. Bernard fields at the goal line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. It's broken up. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Slings it. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for the end of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The crowd really making it difficult. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at about the 33 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Let's go! Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Get it on the counter, and they shut it down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Third down again. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. And he's tackled at the 13. This is the 10th play of this drive.
What a play, and that is first and goal. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Tigers in front by six. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he is drilled at the one. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. 13th play of the drive coming up. They're crowding the line. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he adds the extra point. It was a 13-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Right down around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll get him for a loss. but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama with a one-point lead. The halfback picks up a yard. 
It's second down. They're deep in their own territory. The running back gets two on the carry. They line up in the jumbo set. Tackled after a decent pickup. And this one is a beauty. Thomas takes it at the 49. Room around the corner. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. From the 34-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his wideout. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line touchdown LSU Tacks on the extra point with a three play 35 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now 13 7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Bernard from the two and he has it on the corner brought down at the 26. Alabama's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. He makes his way out to about the 35. It so it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Listen to this place. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the First down. From their own 41 yard line. First down. And he gets a yard on the run. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Got 
time on the screenplay. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Ball is loose. Fumble. It's recovered. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wide out, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. Review the play. The ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Here we go. Got an opening, and he's level at the 36. That makes it second and two. Makes the grab and out of bounds. First and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. Pressure got to him and he put it on the ground. And the defense is on it. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU, up six. Motion, motion, motion. He's got it with room to run. Tackle around the 50-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Taken down at midfield. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. The 39 yard line. It's first down. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Big opening. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Throws out and through his hands. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's a draw. They'll bring him down at the 14. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. 
from the 14 yard line. It's second down. He's on the run. He got three yards there on the scramble. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Got it to his man on the screen. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muster this one in. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Williams comes away with two yards on the carry. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And it's almost picked off. From the one yard line, third down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Kicks away, and he's got it. Time is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. from their own 19-yard line. Second down. We've played a half of football here. LSU's lead is nine. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a team? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. 
The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. And down he goes at the 39. They'll line it up again on third down. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. He scrambles. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That's a deep five on the ground. That brings him second and five. From the 48-yard line, second down. Easy, 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 easy. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Tackle at the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 28. That'll make it second and inches. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Well, a familiar situation for the offense is they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Complete brought down, nothing doing. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 16-10, LSU. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. LSU with a six-point lead. He makes it to the 25-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They'll give it off here. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Bernard back deep to return. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 37. Steps out of bounds around the 42-yard line. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Gets out to around the 48. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. He's going to try and scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Two times, two times. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The crowd really making it difficult. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Up 
the middle for a nice game. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's going left. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. LSU has a three-point lead. He has some room. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down right around midfield. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50. They'll bring him down at the 42. right around the 32-yard line. First and 10, all on the 32-yard line. is up by three. The Cavalry's coming. Caught and big hit there to stop it. That's three down and one to go. LSU's got a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He guns it. Inside the 10. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Well, this is a really risky call by the defense. When you send both your corners and leave yourself vulnerable to some passes downfield if those guys don't get to the quarterback in time. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 10-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Tigers! Standing run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And
and he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. is back deep to return the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He drops it. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 48. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Catches it, and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Diving for extra yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. Thomas, the return man. Booming kick. And he can't hang on to the ball. 
I'll tell you, few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 31. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Quick strike, and he drops it. That makes it fourth and eight. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Receivers got it on the screen. Tackle at the 44. Second and nine. Ball on their own 44. Down he goes, around the 47-yard line. Listen to this place. He's taken down at about the 49. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. They can't hear a thing down there. Taken down in the backfield. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he hits him hard at the 33. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Just under three to go in regulation. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a D one on the play. That brings 
From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled in the open field. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something on it. Alabama's going to use their first time out of the half here. He has some room. Nice run up the middle. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Bernard awaiting the return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left in the game. Flares it, and it almost had it intercepted. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And he's immediately tackled. And a quick throw. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. And he's hit immediately. He lets it fly. Incomplete pass. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Under pressure. And he's sacked. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 23-13, Tiger. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch.
That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.